Here's a question for you. How often do you think about your poop? I know, it's not exactly a dinner table conversation. But let me tell you why it should be. Your bowel movements are one of the most powerful indicators of your overall health. Think of them as your body's daily report card. Hi, I'm Bimal Maharjan, founder of Guts Fair, and someone who has spent years not just studying GI health, but living it. After battling my own gastrointestinal issues and feeling powerless at times, I realized that understanding what your body is telling you is the first step to taking control of your health. And one of the most accessible and revealing tools you have, your bowel movements. Today, we are decoding your poop. We'll explore what healthy bowel movements look like why they matter, and how to recognize signs that something is not right. By the end of this episode, you will not only be an expert on your own digestion, you will also know when it's time to take action. So let's dive in. Disclaimer. This information is for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider before making changes to your diet, lifestyle, or treatment plan. Let's start with the Bristol stool chart. If you have never heard of it, think of it as the decoder ring for your poop. It's a simple tool that categorizes stool into seven types, ranging from hard lumpy stools to entirely liquid ones. Type one and type two are hard lumpy stools, often associated with constipation. If you are seeing these regularly, it could mean you need more fiber, water, or even movement, more movement in your day. Type 3 and type 4 are the gold standard. Smooth, sausage-shaped stools indicate a healthy gut and a balanced digestion. If this is you, great job. Your digestive system is on point. Type 5 to type 7 present softer stools, ranging from mushy to entirely liquid. This could be a sign of diarrhea, irritation, or even malabsorption of nutrients. If these are consistent, it's worth taking a closer look. But here's the thing. While the chart is an excellent guide, it's not a diagnosis. It's just a starting point for understanding what's going on inside your gut. Now, you might be wondering, what if my bowel movement doesn't neatly fit into one type? What if I see more than one type on the same trip to the bathroom. This is actually quite common. And here is why. Your colon process stool in stages. The early section absorb water and mix stool, while the later sections focus on compaction and elimination. If parts of your stool move through these sections at different speeds, you could end up with multiple types in one bowel movement. For example, if you notice type 2, type 4, and type 5 together, this combination might reflect varying hydrogen levels or intestinal transit speeds. Harder, lumpier sections may have lingered longer in the colon, while the softer parts move through more quickly. Another example could be type 6 followed by type 2. This might mean one section of your gut moved too quickly, leading to loose, moussey stool, while another area was slower, producing harder, compact stool. Mixed stool types aren't necessarily bad, but they can reveal what's going on inside. For instance, inconsistent hydration may result in drier and softer sections in the same movement. A sudden spike in fiber might speed up part of the stool while leaving another section denser. Stress can also cause spasms in the gut, leading to variable motility. Your gut is dynamic, responding to everything from what you ate yesterday to how stressed you felt this morning. Mixed types are just part of that story, and tracking them can give you valuable insights. Now, Let's decode what else your stool can tell you beyond just form. Brown is healthy. The color comes from bile. 
which helps break down fats. Black or tarry stools could indicate bleeding in the upper GI tract or something as harmless as taking iron supplements. Bright red is often linked to bleeding in the lower GI tract, like from hemorrhoids or fissures. Pale or clay colored might point to a bile duct or liver issue. Green often means food is moving too quickly through your system or that you ate a lot of greens. When it comes to consistency, hard and dry stool is likely a sign of dehydration or low fiber intake. Loose or watery stool indicate irritation, infection, or malabsorption. How often should you poop? Anywhere from three times a day to three times a week is normal. The key is consistency. If your routine suddenly changes, take note. Let's not forget about order. Particularly, fall order might indicate malabsorption or an infection. Yes, it's awkward to talk about, but it's worth paying attention to. So, when you should worry, there are red flags to look out for. Bright red blood might mean hemorrhoids, but dark, tarry stools could indicate bleeding higher up in your digestive tract. Frequent or excessive mucus might point to IBS or IBD. Occasional undigested food is normal, but regular occurrence might mean incomplete digestion. And persistent diarrhea, constipation, or pencil thin stools might in signal a serious conditions like colorectal cancer. And when changes in stool are accompanied by weight loss, severe abdominal pain, or fever, it's time to seek medical attention. And the good news you have the power to take control of your gut health. And here is how. Start tracking your bowel movements. Log frequency, color, consistency, and symptoms. This creates a baseline to identify patterns or changes. Adjust your diet by increasing fiber, hydrating more, and minimizing processed foods. Practice stress management with mindfulness or deep breathing to reduce its impact on your gut. And if concerning symptoms persist, please consult a doctor. Early intervention is key. Your bowel movements aren't just waste. They're windows into your health. By paying attention to them, you are taking a simple yet powerful step towards better well-being. In our next episode, we'll explore the mind-gut connection how stress and emotions affect your digestion and what bowel movement can reveal about it. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. And if you are ready to take your gut health to the next level, join the waitlist for Gutsphere GI Health Copilot. It's the ultimate tool for understanding and optimizing your digestive health. Sign up today at www.gutsphere.com. Let's take this journey together because your health starts here.